Hey everybody, I'm down at the toy store. We got some news, we got some updates. I got some stuff I just wanna get off my mind. But before I do that, I wanna show everybody the newest addition to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle family. Check it out, I found this Leonardo on Facebook Marketplace, $20 bill. That's what he ended up costing me. $20 it was local what I mean by local it was a half hour drive which to me for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that's pretty local he didn't start out $20 he started out at 50 which I was on my way to get him 50 bucks for a four footer I said yep on my way down there she shot me a message and she said hey my husband didn't tell me this but the arms don't stay on they'll come off would you do $20 I was still gonna do $50, but when she said $20, I thought, hey, jackpot, I'll take it. And there he is. He's definitely not perfect. He's got some scuffs. He's got a little scuffies. He doesn't have his swords and his ribbon on the back. There should be a ribbon there, it's broke. If you'll look at my Michelangelo, he has a ribbon and he doesn't quite have the scuffage. I've heard everybody, we've been working on some stuff. I know there needs to be some stuff decoration wise in between the last shelf there and the ceiling. There's stickers I've been looking at. There's, you know, those type of things, but I don't want to paint anything up there. And I thought about maybe, let's walk over there and look at it. I thought about maybe taking the shelf all the way up to the top because you can and then start lining like my Ninja Turtles and start lining stuff up down the wall. I'm not meaning to get off on a tangent here, but I guess we'll talk about it since I'm already talking about it. What does everybody think that would look like? Is there still going to be too big of a gap? Does there need to be a combination? Standing figures or toys, whatever I can get up there and stickers, maybe a combination of stuff. I don't know. Believe it or not, it, the ceilings are only like 13.7, maybe 14 feet high. When you're in here looking, like if I'm looking back and just kind of looking up, you would think, man, those are 20 footers, but they're not, we measured it. All right, that covers my first kind of update, I guess you can call that an update, piece of news, whatever we want to classify this as, but hey, we got another four foot turtle let's move on to the next update next piece of news let's talk target overstock toy shipment 1620 toys scheduled for delivery this friday today's tuesday so we do have to wait tuesday wednesday thursday they will be here friday the reason i'm bringing this up we've dealt with this shipping company before and they delivered not the last load not the last target load but the load before, which would have been the ride-ons and stuff. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, we did an experimental type ride-on buy. We made a video on it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I had somebody call me on the phone. I answer, she says, hey, this is Estes Express shipping. They're out of Bloomington, 30, 45 minutes away. She said, hey, I see your delivery requires a lift gate. You have six pallets. And when she's saying pallets, she means six they call them Gaylords. I've also heard them called dunk tanks, but they're the big, they're just big boxes, right? They do them in other ones and they call them watermelons. I'm not sure why they call them watermelons. Maybe because you put watermelons in them or I've seen watermelons in them. Anyway, getting off the subject. Um, we have six pallets for delivery. You'll need a lift gate and our lift gate comes through there on Friday. And I said, okay, Friday will work. And she said, anytime between eight and 5 p.m. And I said, okay. I will be there anytime after 2 p.m. No, that's not gonna work. We deliver between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, sometimes I, I'm saying stuff too fast in my mind and it's something else might blurt out of my mouth, right? That happens. So I repeated it. I said, okay, 2 p.m. And again, she was like, no, that's not gonna work. I said, maybe I'm hearing you wrong or maybe I'm not, I said, isn't 2 p.m. between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m.? Just a little bit of backstory on this. This exact same thing happened with us last time they delivered the load. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Last time our load came fine. It just came a little bit later during the day, but it still got here. We got the delivery guy 
unloaded, gave him a nice tip. So I imagine the same thing will happen this time around. It's just, you know, I don't want to play this game every time we get a load from them. Those are the hours because those are the hours I can be here. That's going to kind of bring me to my last talking point. I know lately it seems like I've been doing a lot of talking in these videos, but the store is closed today. I do need to take a walk around and look to see what needs to be stocked, but I don't know. Anyway, my last thing I want to talk about, which was going to leap off the hours of delivery, are my hours of operation when the store is open. If you're new to the channel or if you've been here a while, I don't know how, how often I've mentioned this, but I work for BNSF Railway and I work Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., which means I'm getting up about 4.30 every morning, getting out my door about 5, 5.15 so I can be at work by 6. And then I get off work at 6, or I'm sorry, I get off work at two, and then if the toy store is open, which would be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the toy store is open 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So I try to burn rubber, get here so I can open the doors by three. The weekends, here we go with the autofocus. Sorry, everybody. The weekends, I'm gonna kind of turn this way. The weekends, I am here Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's when we're open. And then Sunday, we are open noon to five here it is in a nutshell the store is only open 24 hours a week we are closed on mondays and tuesdays now that's kind of common with businesses that operate all weekend at least around here if you're open through the weekend generally mondays you're closed you know you got to have days to catch up clean re-inventory restock things like that so we're kind of in line there Tuesday, Tuesday's kind of a stretch. You could be open, you could be closed. What should we be doing for hours of operation? What's the line, you know? Fine, say we're closed Monday, say we're closed Tuesday. I'm thinking you open 11 o'clock and you close at seven. Those would be good summer hours. You do that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, if you want, do 11 to 7. And then on Sunday, I think Sundays, you're pretty reasonable at noon to 5. That seems that seems okay to me. I didn't add it up. I didn't do the math. Let's see. 8, 8, 8, 8. That's going to put you closer to 40 hours a week, open door time. And I think that's good. I mean, that's better than what we're doing now. Probably the big question on that is, is it going to make a difference? Being open 16, 20 more hours a week, will that bring more business in? I think it will, right? I, I don't know. Or since we're open for those hours, does it matter? People know that's what your hours are, so they make time to get in here during those hours. And that's kind of where we're at with it, and I'm losing a lot of sleep thinking about this. There's gonna have to be a jumping out point where we're either all in on this thing or it's just gonna be a part-time deal. And it's already more than a part-time deal. The business model's working, the concept's working. Um, that's already been proven on paper. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot, a lot going on in my head. It's coming to the point, or it's basically at the point where the toy store, it, it needs the commitment. It needs 100%, 110% jump off. I mean, we're gonna either have to live it and work it and do it, go for it, or it's gonna just be, there's gonna be a loss of, I don't know if it'll be a loss of motivation. It's at a natural cap. You know, I'm capped out right here. And what I mean by that is a person can only put in so many hours at a time if they have other commitments. Like a full-time job, 40 hours a week at the railroad, and then trying to come out here and run this like a full-time business, even if I tried to hire somebody, even if I brought in more help, because my brother does help. He, he's part of the business. He comes in and helps when he can, but he also works for the railroad full-time. He works 40 hours a week at the same place I work 40 hours a week. And to top that off, he has three kids. He has a family. He has to be there for them. He has to watch those kids after work. And... <laughs> He has the time constraints I have. Hiring somebody, that would alleviate some of it, but that's still not gonna allow us to jump, jump into this thing full time and just, and just do it. And I'm kind of at the breaking point. 
that's where we're at. It's pretty stressful. There's nothing I can do about it now. It's way too early just to be like, well, okay, I'm gonna quit BNSF where I've been for 11 years. I can't just be, all right, that's it. You know, the store's been open for three months. <laughs> We're not there yet. I just don't know what to do about it. I hate to be like the, that is what it is guy, but right now that kind of seems like it is <laughs> what it is. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch in the store today. I'm gonna actually kind of get out of here for a day just because, you know, even I need a half a day off every now and then. There is a lot to do in here. I have a lot of shelf work to do. I have a lot of stuff to show everybody, but I think I just need to get out of here for a day. I need a day to kind of collect my thoughts. <sighs> Maybe I'm just overthinking stuff. I tend to do that a lot, but don't know what type of video this is gonna be. Seems like we've had some questionable videos here lately. I wanna keep everybody in the loop, kinda of wanna keep the updates coming out. And I also wanna give everybody, you know, an insight. I also, here's why I love having a toy store right here. How's it going? I'm closed, but I'll tell you what, you guys can come in and look around. Nope, you guys can come in and shop around. I'm just kind of making a video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Okay, just don't get me. No, you're not gonna be, and I don't, I'll, I just do like behind the scenes stuff for the okay. store. So I'm gonna wrap it up though. Okay. All right, that's gonna be a video. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.